What is good guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and this is the official tutorial for the free sample of the Waves Gold Bundle presets and templates for Pro Tools. Let's get straight into it. All right, so before we open up the folder and everything, I just wanna start off by saying this is not a mixing and mastering tutorial. I am not gonna teach you guys how to compress and the ratios and EQ. All I'm gonna do is just go through the presets and templates, explain how you guys could adjust, add the reverb echoes, add the vocals in, drag and drop, and that is it. I'm just gonna make sure you guys could troubleshoot and get going on these presets. So once you get your zip folder and you guys uncompress that thing, you guys are gonna get this folder right here. We're just gonna double click. And the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see the preset itself. It's the free preset sample for the Waves Gold Bundle. We're going to have the other Pro Tools versions right here. And we're going to have a README. Now, when you open up the README, you guys are going to have a free Auto-Tune alternative, free Key Finder, free Wave to MP3 converter, as well as the tutorial link for this video. So you guys know exactly how to use these presets and templates. Cool, we're going to close that down. And before I open up this preset sample, I just want to remind you guys, this is the free version of our paid full version of the Clear Vocal presets. That version includes eight different presets and templates, ranging from male to female, crisp to warm, and singing to rap. So no matter what type of tone you guys have what type of equipment you guys have at home from different mics to preamps you'll be able to get those clear vocals at home so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this preset we're just gonna double click so you're gonna get up to this dashboard right here you're gonna have the name with it all fully highlighted you guys are just gonna type it whatever you guys want uh, for this one I'm just gonna go song one you guys could just leave it on local storage right here i would leave the file type wave bit depth 24 sample rate 48 io settings i always do last use especially with you guys at home you guys are going to have different setups from mine so uh, you want to make sure it's using your io settings interleaved and then for location i'm just going to go over here and go into my desktop and click new folder and i'm just going to go song one i'm gonna hit create and i'm gonna hit open now i'm gonna hit create here all right, so when the preset first opens, you guys are gonna see the full template right here. So you guys already see I have my beat track, I have a recording track, a verse lead double ad lib tracks, all with plugins all through the track here. We have a verse vox sub and a verse vox hook sub, and they pretty much comes with all the plugins right here as well. We have a master channel with some bypass plugins or inactive plugins, and I'll show you guys how to activate those. And everything's just color coordinated. So it's super easy to know where to drag and drop. I have comments all through here to know exactly where you guys need to go. And uh, it's just it's just very simple. So when you guys open up this preset, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go up to setup and playback engine. Now just make sure your playback engine is to whatever interface you guys are using. So usually I would be using my UA Thunderbolt, but right now I'm streaming, so it's just this. My buffer size, when you guys are recording, you guys are gonna wanna keep it at like anywhere from 64 to 128 samples. This will reduce any latency issues. Now latency is when you guys record on the mic and you're hearing like your voice a second or two after you actually talk. It could really mess you up when you're trying to record and everything. This way, having the buffer size very low would definitely help with that. You guys could copy all my host engine checklist right here as well if you'd like. Then we just hit okay. Perfect. So the next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to setup and then IO. From here, just in case you guys see your outputs, if any of that's grayed out and you're having any playback issues or anything, just make sure you hit this default button right here and it will go back to your default settings. So it would make sure it automatically hook up to any outputs that you guys already have. If you guys have any more issues with that, I would just try to experiment a little bit more with the outputs and just try to find wherever your output's going. It should be pretty self-explanatory. It should either be going out of a, your interface to your, your speakers or just your laptop speakers, whatever you guys are using. Uh, we were talking about latency a little earlier with the playback engine. If you guys uh, have any issues still with that and you guys notice on the master channel that some of these are active right here, if you guys see that it's not grayed out while you guys are recording, you guys just wanna make sure you hit, if it's active, just hit make inactive. That could cause a lot of latency as well on your master channel. So just make sure that those are inactive when you guys are recording. Now let's get some examples going. So for this example, we're gonna use BFC Stems right here. He's one. Of, he's a really dope artist out here in the Bay Area. The first thing we're gonna do is, just like you guys are gonna use these presets, you guys are gonna wanna drag in your beat. So make sure you get your beat and just drag it into the beat track. I'll move that all the way to zero. Perfect. And let's just play that out. Mm -hmm. 
Cool, so you just wanna make sure you're getting sound, everything's running through uh, smoothly, and yeah, sounds good. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into the main vocal right here, and I'm gonna drag that into the recording track. Now, what I want you guys to imagine is if you guys just recorded that track on this recording track. So let's just say you just recorded all these vocals right here. Let's hear that back right now. I'm out here trying to save lives, so I keep this gun up on me in the daytime. Like a belt, because I keep it on my waistline. I really had to take it, it's like he tried to... Cool, so this is just really dry vocals, just some reverb I left over here on the recording track. So it kind of gives you a little bit of wet vocals, but nothing crazy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that down to the verse lead, and let's play that out. Corona, bitch, I'm out here trying to save lives, so I keep this gun up on me in the daytime. Like a belt, because I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take his life, he tried to take mine. Awesome. Now to go between the arrangement screen and the mixing screen, you guys can either go to window and just hit mix and edit over here, or just do command equal sign. And you guys can go back and forth between the two windows. Now what I want to show you guys is on this verse lead, you guys can adjust the volume right here with the verse lead knob. The daytime, like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take his life, he tried to take mine. They say the hustle. But I will say, once you guys get a good level for your vocals, I would just leave that alone, especially if you have your verse, your uh, your verse lead, your double, and your ad-libs. And I would control everything through the verse vox sub, and that's this button right here. This is how you control the overall volume of either the verse or the hook. So I'll show you guys. The daytime, like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take it, like he tried to take mine. They say the hustle always. You guys can also control the volume over here on this on in the arrangement screen. The daytime, like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take his life, he tried to take mine. They say the hustle all. So that's really cool. So a couple things you guys could adjust with that is you guys could go into the reverb and adjust how much reverb you guys actually want going in there. So I'll show you guys that right now. I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take his life, he tried to take mine. They say the hustle always out where to shine. That's why I'm always in the game, you niggas. Perfect. And you guys can do the same thing with the echo. Here, let me show you guys that right now. I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take his life. He tried to take mine. They say the hustle always out where to shine. That's why I'm always... If you guys need any help with getting the tempo of the beat, you guys could actually use the tap tempo within Pro Tools. You guys could literally click the button T and get the tempo. And if you guys don't know how to do that, I'm going to put the link in the description right now. All right, cool. So once you guys like kind of adjust your reverb, your echoes, you guys have the tempo for the, all of that right there. Let's add in some uh, ad libs. So let's say it's time to now record your ad libs. We would just add it in like you guys just recorded. Let's play it out. Hey, hey. Like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take it like he tried to take me. They say the hustle always out where to shine. Forever. Dope. All you're gonna do is just drag and drop down to the ad lib track. Let's hear it. Like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take his life, he tried to take mine. They say the hustle always out where to shine. That's why I'm and then you guys could adjust just the volume of the ad lib track over here on this volume right here. Like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take his life. And then once you guys have that adjusted, you guys could adjust the overall volume of everything right here you guys could adjust the reverb and echo as well for the ad libs and i also have a telephone effect on there and that's this eq right here you guys could adjust that as well and just get different type of tones and textures i'll show you daytime like a belt because i keep it on my waistline i really have to take his life he tried to take mine they say the hustle always out where to shine that's why i'm always in the game you niggas riding mine and me you want to so you guys could adjust like that, or you guys could leave it how it is. It's completely up to you, but I just want to show you guys it is possible to do that. So once you guys kind of have your song all leveled, you guys have a good mix on it, everything is sounding great, you could then add this complimentary master I added for you guys, and I'll show you right here. Daytime. So all you're going to go is the master channel right here, and you're going to go right click make active right click make active and right click make active now i'm gonna do a very quick run through of these so this one all it's doing is making the beat and the vocals compile a little better together that's it if it sounds too muffled or too distorted by all means make it active uh the max bass all it's doing is increasing your bass and really boosting that up i know especially in hip-hop that's a big thing for us so i wanted to add that in there if you guys hear too much bass or it's over distortion by all means turn that off and the last one is the l1 ultra maximizer now this is just a fire fire way to add a lot of volume to your track if it sounds too loud by all means move this up if you want it louder move it down i will show you guys right now daytime like a belt because i keep it on my waistline i really have to take it like he tried to take mine they say the hustle always out where to shine that's why i'm always in the game 
And once you guys have that master going, you guys can always adjust the vocals still. Daytime, like a belt, cause I keep it on my waistline. I really have to take it, like me trying to take mine. They say the hustle always out with the shine. Awesome. And if you guys are ever going to start recording again, make sure you make those inactive to make sure you're not going to have any latency when you guys are recording. Awesome. And that's a quick run through of our free sample for the Waves Gold Bundle presets and templates for Pro Tools. I hope this really helped and I hope you guys make some hits at home. Again, this is the free sample. If you guys want the full paid version that includes eight different presets from male to female, crisp to warm and rap to singing so you guys could get any tone you guys really need. If you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that would help me out a lot so I can help you guys out a lot. Let's get it.